Well, TGIF, that's from Kate earlier today. So, yeah, guys, it's Friday. We're gonna do a hit class. So, we're just gonna actually, it's the end of the week, too. So, let's go ahead and actually warm up nice and easy. Take, yes, yeah, the dance moves. Uh, let's go ahead and take a seat. Palms down. We're going into that traditional leg raise. Tuck your chin, control the weight up with the leg raise and all the way down. You guys are gonna go ahead and get your whole like 10 reps in, nice and easy. Try to keep the bottom leg straight as well. In a few seconds, let's go ahead and switch. All right, as we finish up those leg raises, let's go ahead and cross the hands over your shoulders. Plant those feet underneath your knees and go into a hip lift. Slow and controlled. Squeeze the feet down, drive the hips up. We're gonna continue this. Before you go anywhere though, before we move on to the next thing, <clears throat> all we're gonna do next, after a few more reps, is drive the feet a few four inches forward, punching the heels down and toes up, and let's get the hamstrings activated next. Good, breathing out, driving up. Keep going. And then we're gonna go right into our rollover series in three, two, and one. And we got the right, left, center. Try to get at least three rounds in, maybe even more. Again, it's the end of the month. At least you guys that were going in here and coming in this week, we've been doing a lot of running and hamstring work. So open this up. Keep going. End of, end of the week, sorry. <laughs> Although September is flying by. All right, as you guys finish up that last one, we're just gonna roll over to our chest, hands planted underneath of our chin. Feet are gonna be up in the air when we go to that windshield wipe movement. It's just to help release that low back. So you'll see the feet work together and you're just going back and forth. Breathing out, going back and forth. A few more reps from here, we're gonna get those hands under the shoulders, plant the knees out wider, and press our head through our arms, sinking into our low back. Breathe out when you guys get there, and then when you guys are down there, hang out for a second before we go anywhere else, but you're gonna crawl your hands to the left and right, opening that up. All right, after you guys do that, we're gonna go ahead and get to the sprinter lunge next. From here, we're gonna open up one arm, opposite arms gonna stretch out. Let's get three on one side, three on the opposite side. All right, after you guys do both ways there, I stand on up and get moving a little bit faster. We're gonna start with that power squat, hands behind your head. Nice and easy. Drive the knees out over the ankles, squeeze the feet down each time. Keep going here. We're gonna take this right into jumping jacks in three, two, and one. We got jumping jacks. Jumping jacks are followed by our seal jacks, which is followed by our flings. We're gonna do all three jack series. Keep this up, keep breathing. Switch the seals in two, and one seal jacks. In and out together. And palms down, flings, crisscross. Looking good, looking good. Three, two, and one. All right, take a deep breath for a second. We're gonna go into the side lunge first, and then a reverse lunge second. Side lunge is gonna alternate. Step over, sink in there each time. Let's get, try to get one or two more back and forth, and then we're gonna go right into the alternating reverse lunge. Two and one and begin. Step back, opposite arm, opposite leg. And switch, I said alternating, but go ahead. <laughs> if you guys are alternating already, that's fine. Just keep going here. As you guys finish that up, we are gonna go right into 
a kind of a combination. We're gonna go wide outs first into a plank walkout. No push-up needed, guys. We're just making sure you are going up and down, walk the hands out each time. Hey, remember, stay into the hips, sink low each time you guys come up. And that plank walkout's all about getting the hands under the shoulders in a good position. Looking good here. A few more reps. Three, two, one. When you're ready, guys, go ahead and stand up. All right, last thing we're gonna do in our warm-up, we're gonna go butt kickers and a knee drive, and then we'll get you guys rolling. So. Stand on up, <coughs> drive your heel back into your butt. Ready, set, and go. Get a good bounce. Get that groove, get that groove. All right, we're gonna switch to that knee drive and a better arm action. Three, two, one, let's hit it, let's hit it. Stay up, looking good. All right, three, two, one, and relax. Go ahead and get a quick drink of water. We are gonna go body weight today, so don't worry about grabbing any equipment. We're gonna go in just a second. So last class, I'm just gonna talk for a second. Last class we did, yes, half strength and half like hit. It was kind of a good combination. We did a lot of weights with the strength part. Today's gonna be more body weight strength with the hit as well. So we're gonna be kind of bouncing between like more of a hurricane based thing. So what we're gonna start off with is a shuffle back and forth along with that jump on the outside. So we're gonna have a man demonstrate real quick. You guys did this probably last week, but it's staying low through the shuffle, jumping up. As you guys come up, you land up, that way. Jumping up, landing low, shuffling across. Jumping up again, and yeah, so it's gonna be always adding a jump to the outside of the shuffles, back and forth, back and forth. As we finish that up, we're gonna go right into the ground for some core work. We're going sprinter crunches first for time. After sprinter crunches, we're gonna roll right into mountain climber second. So as we get going with that, it's gonna be a hurricane-based movement, shuffles with jumps, sprinter crunches, and mountain climbers. Everything's timed, so let's keep this going. We'll be doing three sets with a small break in between. Here we go. Starting low. Once, once we get the hair up. <laughs> All right. Three, two, one. Let's hit it. Stay low. Attack the height every time you guys get to your, the end of your room. Looking good. Trying to get at least two shuffles each time. Find that pace, keep going, dude. Remember, staying low on the shuffle. You wanna land low and continue to move low. All right, we got five more seconds. Three, two, last jump, one, good. All right, let's take a seat on your back, sprinter crunch. Arm action dictates that knee drive. Ready, set, go. Try to keep that head straight and let the hand move back fast. The faster your hand goes back, the quicker your leg and your body come up. Keep this up here. Guys, we're gonna roll right over to mountain climbers in three, two, one, let's go. The clock is running, so when you're ready, get after this. Low knees and get attacking it. Remember to have your elbows soft and shift your weight forward. Keep going, we got five seconds, five seconds. Three, two, and time. 20 seconds off, we're gonna get right back into that again. Take a deep breath, stand up. Things to work on in that shuffle, keeping your upper back strong, chest up, keeping your feet forward, and landing that jump without letting your knees go forward into each other. You wanna keep the knees wide. All right, we got five seconds. Three, two, one, let's go. <laughs> Staying low, guys. Hey, if you need to find the pace that you can maintain, this is a 25 second movement here. Breathe out, get across. Make sure we're being light on those feet. We got less than 10 seconds for now, let's go. Three, two, and one. Take a seat, we got sprinter crunches. Ready, set, begin. It's always gonna take a little time. <laughs> Keep it up. Good focus, Kate. Keep going. Keep going. 
All right, guys, we got five more seconds. We're gonna roll right back into those mountain climbers again. In three, two, one. And begin. Remember, soft elbows, keep the knees low to the ground, keep breathing. Shift that weight forward, you got this, guys. We're coming down to the end right here. Five, four, three, two, done. All right, we got 20 seconds off, one more round. Take a few deep breaths. Too, if you need me to. How about you get a whole round in and we'll switch. This is the work I have to the last night. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, and we're back in it. Shuffle across and get up. Stay in low. Keep this up. 10 seconds. We're right there, guys, we're right there. Five, four, three, get one more jump, two, and time. All right, sprinter crunch. Take a deep breath, tuck the chin, ready, set, go. Keep it up. Looking good, looking good. Five, four, Three, two, and mountain climbers, roll right over. Ready, set, go. All right, keep this pace. Guys, we got 10 seconds left, we're gonna check your pulse. So let's find out how fast you can go. Pick it up right here, come on. Let's hit it, five more seconds. Okay, three, two, one. Good work. Check that pulse. We're gonna give it three, two, go. Stop. 16. Cool, we're in that 15, 16, 17 range. We got a few, we have a minute off. I wanna say a few seconds, so we'll give you the full minute. Hey, we're changing gears just a second. We're gonna be switching everything over. I know we're getting fatigued right now. Take deep breaths in, slow breaths out. We're gonna switch to pure just body weight strength next. All right, we got a few more seconds off. I'm going to go over this one. This is going to be, again, we're going to do some ISO work. We're going to be locking in. So if you have a chair behind you, a bench, even if it's a staircase. So we're going to be using this for body weight and dips. I want to go over the proper form of the dip real quick. So we're doing it. You start on your spot. Feet can go straight in front of you, or you can keep them bent and keep the feet flat. The things we're looking for is posture first. If you have your shoulders rounded forward, you're going to pinpoint the shoulder blade in front of your shoulder more is not what you want to do. Sit upright, get your spine straight, your butt should be as close to this bench as possible. And now I don't care about the depth. You're not trying to go so low to the ground where you lose your position in your shoulder. You're going just low enough to maybe 90, maybe not even 90, and come back up. You do not need your feet to go so far out because the mistake people make is they try doing this because they're like, oh, I'm making this hard as I possibly can. And they're just shrugging the shoulders. Who cares where the feet are? It's about you putting weight behind you. To make it a little harder at the top, you're gonna get your hips and your butt over the spot that you're pushing. You're gonna feel a little bit more of a tricep lock out at the top. So don't worry about going super fast here. As soon as we are done with the dip with that staircase or whatever else you guys have, we're gonna come right up. We're gonna go locking into an ISO squat hold. From the squat hold, we're gonna continue to slowly do a step across and a step across. And what we're working on there is foot, ankle, knee position and maintaining a low spot. So we're gonna go, you're going back and forth. The triceps are gonna have a break during that ISO hold. All right, let's get rolling. 
Ooh. Yeah. Kate, you, are you good with a, uh, you got something? All right. I think you can use that chair behind you, that couch even. All right, here we go. Palms on the chair, fingertips out. Three, two, and one. Lower down slow and keep the butt as close to that bench as you guys can. This is for time and don't worry about your reps. Try to, again, keep your upper body, your torso, your hips, and your head in a straight line. As you come up, you can shift forward at the very top. Keep going here. Lock the triceps out. Keep this up. All right, we got five seconds. Three, two, one. Let's start with that ISO squat. Knees apart, chin tucked, ready, and hold low. All you're doing is staying low. All right, now things to think about. While we're here, squeeze your feet. You should see that foot arch. In the front of your foot, you should already see that arch. Next thing we're thinking about here, yeah, Kate, okay, way to add a band. Next thing, if your knees are shooting over your toes, now is the time to think about this. It means you're, I'm gonna talk while you're holding this, by the way. It means probably you're using your quads more. Try to pull your knee back, put weight on your heel, and sink your butt back behind you. Next thing, guys, open your shoulder blades up. Get your chest as big as you can, chin tucked. Stay low. We're gonna now continue. Step to the left, step to the right. Do not come up when you're doing this. Try to stay low in this position. Good. Keep it low. All right, we're gonna go back to an ISO squat hold the last 10 seconds. Ready? And stay still and hold. Lock in, stay low there. Keep it there. Five, four, three, two, and one, relax. All right, a few seconds off. Okay, if you wanna put that band on now, it's a good time. By the way, same people at home, if you see a man with a band on, if you have it, great. If not, you're still just maintaining good position. This is also about ankle mobility. Next time we get in that squat, we'll talk about that next. Let's get those hands ready on the bench. We're gonna get rolling in about five seconds. Posture first, blades scoop back into position, chin tucked. Three, two, one, and begin. Don't worry about how many you do. Sorry, okay, I didn't see you out of, out of the frame. 10 more, sorry, 20 more seconds. Ten more seconds, guys. Keep going. Slow and strong. It's not about how many you get. It's about the quality of these movements. Five, four, three, two, and up. All right, bring that squat hold. That's our rest time. Ready, set, and hold. Again, this is not the thing we're looking at. Your feet and your knees. Are your knees tracking out with your big toes or the out with the pinky toes? So the man even wants to pull her knees a little bit wider. Keep it there. The feet don't want to move, guys. It's the knees going out, not the feet. Keep the feet where they are and pull them out. Good. There you go, Kate. That's your spot. Working on the knees tracking out and your feet squeezing the ground. All right. In three seconds, we're going to do that step over and back. Ready? And go. Butt stays down. Open your chest up. Get the arms at your side. Chin stays tucked. Remember, chin tucked means you can look about like two yards in front of you. That's going to help you keep your spine neutral. All right, the last 10 seconds, we're gonna go back to that ISO hold. Two, one, and stick to it again. Don't come up, stay low. Okay, that looks great. Here you go, Amanda. Three, two, one. All right, last round, going right back to the triceps. Five more seconds, we're gonna get right in it again. Three, Two, one, and begin. Don't settle for fast movements. Control the whole way down. It's not a drop and a pop. You're lowering and extending. Keep this up. Ten more seconds. Fight through this, guys. Chin tucked. Reach your hips all the way forward. Five, four. Three, two, and one. Shake those arms up for a quick second. Let's hop up and go over this again. Hey, odds are when we get tired with the lower body, our feet just go wider and wider because it gets easier. Have a more of a narrow stance under the hips, and this is what the knee needs to do. When we're here, 
when you guys are in your squat, if your knee is here, we're trying to grab the ground and rotate out. Just this little movement right there is gonna lock all your muscles into position. So try that out in the squat. Ready, set, go. That corkscrew, grip the ground and rotate out. Looking good. <laughs> all right, shoulder blades, get them back again. Let's work on your posture. It's okay to look down. Okay, this is doing, you're doing great. Lock it in there. We're gonna switch to, in, in 10 seconds, we're gonna switch to that step across. Three, two, one, right here, over and back, stay low. Own it, keep this up, strong core. If you guys turn your core off, things start to collapse up the top. All right, this is the last 10 seconds, that ISO hold, we're gonna change up to an ISO, that, there's a stick to the ground, but we're gonna do a pulse squat. Make that bounce. Two, one, own it, right here. Make yourself move slow movements to keep the knees tracking out. Three, two, done. All right, take those bands off. Get a quick drink of water if you need to. We're gonna, we're gonna go right into core work. Get a quick drink of water. If you have a band, take it off, and then we're gonna get rolling. Lay on the ground. Yeah, no, definitely not. <laughs> All right, first thing we're gonna go over, we're gonna go triangle crunch. This is gonna help stretch out the outside glute, the ones that you're just killing yourself with. So plant one foot, take the other ankle over that knee. Now, before we start, you need to actively, Amanda, bring your, bring your right knee up towards you real quick. We do not wanna see that. You need to actively drive that knee down towards the other one, creating the triangle between your legs. Force that knee down. Now when we do the crunch, let's show one of them. Pick your foot up as you crunch and tap the ground each time. Foot goes up and down with the crunch. All right, here we go. Hands behind your head. Three, two, and one. Breathe out and drive up. Exhale. As you guys come up, push your knee that's crossed away from your body. Feel that? Feel that stretch. Keep it going. We're gonna switch sides in five seconds. Three, two, one and switch. Ready, set, go. Keep driving that knee across. You might even be aware, maybe one leg doesn't go as far down as the other one. Be aware of which hip it probably is tighter. All right, three, two, and one. We're going right to flutter kicks, right to um, scissor kicks. Palms down, legs straight, chin tucked. The flutter is a low, slow crossover kick. Ready, set, go. Breathe out, keep the legs low. Two options here, you'll see a man has her head off the ground, it's gonna engage a little more of the upper core. If you wanna go ahead, relax, that's fine too, but make sure that low back stays on the ground. Low back digs in. We're gonna switch to the uh, scissors in three, two, one, scissor kicks. Low and slow. You guys, Kate, keep breathing, girl. Three, two, one, and relax. Good work. Hey, get a quick drink of water. If you have a bench or chair out, get it out of the way. We're gonna go back into another kind of that hurricane idea set again. But this time, we're gonna be doing a combination of things. Last class, you saw us doing that stationary run or that scissor switch. That that high knee drive is gonna have some sideways move to it. So we're gonna see, I'll demonstrate while I'm in the We're here. Instead of being stationary, you are moving yourself across the turf. As you guys go across, punch back. That's gonna be the first round. The next round after that in our hurricane is gonna be that lateral speed skater. And then the third round, we're gonna be a little bit more like, it's gonna be kind of fun here. We're gonna go knee drive over, and then one to speed skater back. Knee drive over, speed skater back. When I say switch, stop for a second, do the knee drive the opposite way, and the speed skater back the opposite way. So we're gonna kind of walk through that. If you need me to hop in that round, I can hop in that round. Saying it again, round one is pure knee drive over and back. Round two is pure speed skaters. Round three is that hybrid. The exercises in between, you guys are gonna be going from a plank up down first, rolling over into knee grabs. 
What? Any um, extra mats? Okay, here we go. Here we go. This is knee drive with movement. Three, two, one, and hit it. Breathe out, keep going over and back. Find your pace, stay tall. Open the hands up. Keep going, keep going. This is about your pace. All right, when I give you that five second countdown, find that extra speed you got left in the tank. All right. And five, four, three, two, and one. Starting on your hands in that high plank, we're gonna go up downs. Here we go. Three, two, and one. Elbow, elbow, palm, palm. Hey, it's not about how fast you go. Go slow and go smooth. A great substitute out of this would be a shoulder tap. Okay, okay I see you doing that right now. What's that? Not a sub, low plank. Sure. If you need a sub to a low plank, so you got Amanda doing. Keep going, guys. Three, two, and one. Roll over into knee grabs. Clock is on. Go ahead. Hey, hands underneath the chin each time. Drive your knees up towards your chest each time. 10 seconds left, come on. Three, two, one. We got time off, reminder, this next round, we're not doing the side runs. We're gonna go into that speed skate, that lateral jump back and forth. You guys can stand up whenever you're ready. More ready than you are. Let me know if you need me to tap in, coach. You had a big, you had a big workout yesterday. Yeah, yeah, that board is crazy. All right. Three, two, one. Over and back. Staying low. Reminder, we are trying to leave the ground. Leap across your mat each time. Keep it up. Good rhythm, Kate. All right, we got five seconds. Keep this up. Two, one, and relax. We have that plank up down. You can sub it out for shoulder taps or just a low plank hold, depending on where you're at right now. Three, two, one, and begin. At least add a back leg raise or something. <laughs> okay, keep those hips low and feet wide. You're looking good. There you go. Right there, right there. All right, we got five seconds and go back to those knee grabs. Three, two, and one. Keep it up. Five seconds. Three, two, one, relax. All right, final step. We got some time off. Okay, I'm gonna give you a warning. My laptop, unfortunately, is on low percentage if, if something bad happens. <laughs> but after the next set, I'm gonna probably charge it up. All right, we're just gonna change your angle of things. Do you wanna practice this one? Clearly, I All right, I'm gonna go over this one one more time while you guys are like watching and recovering. It's a high knee drive over. And then once you guys have that outside foot, instead of that being a just a high knee drive back, your outside leg catches and you just jump back across. High knee, catch, jump. High knee, catch, jump. When I say switch, you can just start on the opposite side and get back in it again. This is gonna last a little bit longer of a pattern. You wanna tap out, you good? No, I know you want the other For everyone's entertainment, here we go. Three, two, one, knee drive across, catch the outside foot, and jump it. You don't, and back up. don't, yeah, don't even do the toe touch. Uh, I can't. <laughs> Kate, you're doing, you're doing great. I feel like I keep going over. All right. You're done, you're done. Tap Keep going, guys. Hit, jump. Tap, 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 hit, jump. We're gonna switch legs in three, two, 
One, now we're going this way, quick feet, catch, jump. Quick feet, catch, jump. Keep this up. Stay tall, get across. What? All right, we got five more seconds. Keep going. Three, two, one. And on the ground, we got those planks coming up. Three, two, one, begin. Stay there and breathe. Wanna switch to those knee grabs in five, four, three, two, one. Knee grabs. We got five more seconds. Three, two, one, and relax. All right, guys. We did four, we did three sets. We are gonna try that last set one more time. We're gonna give you guys about 30 seconds off still. We're gonna get back in that again, the high knee drive leg kick. Amanda wants to try it again. Of course I do. Okay, I changed your ankle for a second because I battered it up. Oh, I'm still here. Yeah. All right. All right. A few more seconds. Let's get you guys rolling again. We're going to have Amanda do a walkthrough so we all can get... Hey, if you had a hard time on YouTube, but let's don't give it up. Try it one more time. The idea is that leg kick, don't try to reach for the ground. You have to catch on the outside leg and that leg pushes you across. Here's the only kicker. Don't go so far over one way that you can't jump back. It's gotta be a, a shorter range of motion probably for you guys. So keep that in mind. Let's get after this. We're doing one more set. Last set, best set, and we'll move on to some strength to finish up with. Here we go. High knee drive over, lateral kick. Three, two, one. Pick the knees up. Catch and jump across. Looking good. You got it, Skate. Hit, pop. How come I can't stay in one spot? All right, we're gonna switch legs in three, two, one. You just, you're just running your knees too far in one direction. You just can't jump back that far. So don't go less distance there, because now you're not gonna get back. Keep going. All right, we got eight seconds. Three, two, and one. Final round, either plank up downs, plank hold, or shoulder taps. Ready, set, go. Keep breathing here, guys. We're right there. Three, two, one. Knee grabs for the final time. Ready, set, go. Good pace, good pace, keep it up. We got 10 seconds left. Five, four, three, two, and done. Let's check that pulse now. Ready, Set, go. Stop. Good stuff. All right, let's take some time off before we do our final little piece of strength.
just like the airplane balance for the hamstring. And I'll just show the side planks. Side planks are fine. It's the plank I can't get up on just that one arm. Gotcha. That's why I can do it. All right, we got 10 more seconds off. This strength component is gonna be pure just balance and isos. So that iso hold, instead of being a squat hold, it's gonna be going into a, like that airplane. So we're gonna go into that small little knee bend, fold over and stay there. It's been a while since we've done this. We're gonna lock in and we're just gonna maintain balance on that side. When I say switch, hop up and switch sides. Afterwards, we're gonna go into side plank holds as well. The only thing you can add to this is that top leg can raise up, hips high, either hold or continue that upper leg to raise. Both sides each time we're doing two long rest sets both sets are gonna be a lot more time than the other one so keep that in mind all right here we go three two and one begin breathe out and stay there you got this kate keep that knee slightly bent leg behind you straight Stay with it, guys. Stay in here. We got 15 seconds. 15 seconds. Bend that knee and adjust again. Bring that leg back a little further. Three, two, one. Stand up for a quick second and switch sides. Ready? Set, go. Right here, try to keep your chin tucked, hands open up. You'll see a man is, you look like a perfect T on the front. Keep going. Good, try to pull your knee outside of your hands, your outside of your toe. Yep. Guys, we are halfway, keep going. Ten seconds. Yes, three more seconds. Three more seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, we're going to that side plank. Plant your elbow down, palm in front, hip stack, ankle stacked. Ready? Three, two, one, and raise up. Stay in there. I'll, guys, I'll tell you guys when we're halfway on this side, if you want to start to add that leg raise, feel free to, but we're sticking to the side for a while. Hey, deep breath in. When you guys breathe out, contract that lower part of your core. Tighten it up and lift the hip higher. We're past half. Keep going. Five. Four, three, two, and time. All right, let's switch sides. Good work. Reminder about that shoulder and neck. Keep them away from each other. Ready, set, and go. Stack the hips up high, ankles flexed. Keep that shoulder in straight line with the opposite shoulder. You're trying to get elbow to shoulders all straight up. All right, keep the hips level, Kate. Keep going. Deep breath in, slow breath out. We're halfway. <laughs> Keep going, come on. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good work. We got a little bit of time off. We're gonna do that just one more time and we're done. Catch, get some water, get your breath.
All right, let's get rolling. Here we go, back to that ISO hold. Three, two, one, and lock in and hold. Stay focused guys, squeeze your foot, maintain that balance, straighten the back leg, reach your head and your toe away from each other. Keep going, lengthen yourself. It's a little bit shorter, we're gonna switch it up, we're gonna go right to the other side in five, four, three, two, and switch. Ready, begin. Keep breathing. Keep holding it, keep holding it. We're halfway. Good position, Kate. You can get that hand flat too. Press your, press your hand and elbow down and raise yourself up. Five, four, three, two, switch sides. And begin. All right, guys, we're right there. Five, four, three, two, and done. Good work. All we got left to do is stretch out. You guys can stay seated for now. We're gonna start with that knee to chest, straightening out the opposite leg. Switch when you're ready. Nice one, we got a hamstring stretch. Oh, sorry. Tuck one leg in and reach forward. switch sides go ahead okay apologize for that technical difficulty halfway through cool <laughs> and when you guys are done doing that one butterfly stretch plant those feet in wide knees open them up nice and wide press those elbows into your legs You guys are good to go. Have a great weekend. We'll catch you next week.